stars, welcome back to the channel, or if it's your first time here, welcome. This is Gwendolyn, and this video is going to be on the new moon in Scorpio, happening November 18th on Saturday. And so I'm going to go through each of the signs and talk about what it means for each sign. Um, there is the moon, the sun, and Jupiter all in Scorpio. So there's a lot of potent Scorpio energy. Um, Scorp uh, Jupiter moved into Scorpio on October 10th. So wherever it falls for you, uh, whichever house it falls in, there's sort of like an extra oomph or an extra push with Jupiter expanding everything that it touches. So for Scorpio, this means that a new moon is in your first house of identity and self. This means that there is, it's a potentially good time to begin a new you. And this is a new, bigger sort of version of you with Jupiter sitting there all year uh, from October this past year, you know, last month to November of 2018. So really good time, Scorpio, if you're looking to sort of build a new segment of your identity, build a new self, um, there's really a lot of support and emphasis on that for the next six months. You could see some nice results in the next six months and potentially even throughout the whole next year. So nice time for that, Scorpio. A new you can emerge during this time. New self. For Sagittarius, this new moon in Scorpio uh, conjunct, obviously the the moon and the sun conjunct also Jupiter in Scorpio, we've got it in your 12th house. So this is a time, new moons are usually good times to begin new things, and in your 12th house, it, it's sort of like saying a new dream. Uh, the 12th house rules the unconscious, it rules our dreams, it rules the hidden self, it also rules things connected with spirituality and unification with the divine. So it could be a wonderful time to begin a new practice of um, a new study of something connecting you with your spirituality or a new dream. Beginning something that is a new part of you that is under the surface or connected with your unconscious. Really good time to nurture what is in your dream world. Um, what connects you to the divine. There's going to be a lot of expansion happening there, Sag, over the course of the, the next six months, as well as the next year uh, through November of 2018, because Jupiter, the planet of expansion, is also sitting there. So enjoy that, Sag. Nurture your dreams over the next six months, and you might have some nice results uh, by the time we get that full moon in Scorpio in six months. For Capricorn, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your 11th house of networks, of friendships, of humanity, of things that relate to greater audiences, um, things to do with science, innovation, um, so all those Aquarian themes. And with this new moon in Scorpio, it could be a really great time, Capricorn, for you to really expand your social networks. The reason I'm using that word expand is because Jupiter is also conjunct the sun and the moon here in Scorpio for you. So it's a really expansive time. Jupiter expands anything it touches and wherever it, it sits. So this is sitting in your 11th house of social networks. Really good time to begin, say, a blog or work on your website, um, anything that reaches audiences. If you're tailoring a message that you're sending out, if you're developing anything that has to do with scientific exploration or data, um, 11th house is a wonderful time to begin that and a new moon in Scorpio. Things that are deep and below the surface Sharing those with humanity is going to be, it's going to be a great time to begin anything in that endeavor. So anything having to do with connecting with people that you feel deeply about, uh, your friends, your family, your, generally 11th house is outer networks. So audience, um, science, information that is being shared outwardly. So 
and also having to do with themes of doing things differently. Um, beginning to do, you know, maybe even collaborate with those who are different from your normal set of networks. Capricorn can be very beneficial for you over the course of the next six months and potentially over the whole year because Jupiter is sitting there for you in Scorpio. So enjoy that Capricorn. Uh, really expand your networks. It's a great time to begin that and send, sending out information to potential audiences. Great time for lecturing also. Um, for Aquarius, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your 10th house. So it's a really great time, um, Aquarius, to begin something that you love in terms of your career, something that you feel passionately about because Jupiter's sitting there in Scorpio. Scorpio has to do with deep feelings underneath and the new moon is always when the moon and the sun are conjunct. So with the sun, the moon, and Jupiter all conjunct in your 10th house, really great time to begin a new phase of your career that you feel deeply about and that you feel passionately about. And if you begin that now, you can see some nice results between now and over the course of the next six months, potentially even into the next year as Jupiter will be in Scorpio through November 2018. So whatever it is in your career that you would like to change or develop or there's something that you're passionate about, begin that during this new moon and you've got a lot of support to watch that grow over the next six months and even the whole next year, Aquarius. Enjoy your work. It looks like it's going to be deeply passionate and fulfilling for you if you begin something new now. For Pisces, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your ninth house. This is the house of higher learning, of travel, of um, foreign cultures, of philosophy, of things that have to do with what is outside of our normal experience. This is the normal house of Sagittarius, which is the explorer. So ninth house means going to new plateaus, new visions, um, breaking free from the old cycle and, and going into a new level of understanding and awareness. So if any of you are looking to begin a new course of study um, or travel anywhere this or publish anything, this is a wonderful time to do that, Pisces, because we've got the moon and the sun and Jupiter, the planet of expansion, all conjunct in your ninth house of higher learning, of foreign cultures, other philosophies, other religions, other belief systems, um, things that are having to do with going out and exploring the world around us. So if you're, be if you're wanting to send something out into the world, Ninth House also rules publishing, travel, uh, philosophy, learning, a really good time to begin any course that has to do with learning right now, Pisces, as well as spirituality, um, it may be like spiritual lessons that you're taking on that you are that are getting you to the next level and this is really supported um, with Jupiter being there over the course of the whole next year with the new moon in Scorpio um, it's like deep-seated deep-seated things deep uh, things that you may be passionate about things that you may have deep feelings about and you're going to another level of learning um, beginning now through the course of the next six months, so you may have some nice results during that full moon in Scorpio six months from now, as well as throughout the rest of the whole year, Pisces. So really some deep learning going on for you, as well as maybe travel uh, and or publishing, exploring new frontiers, new horizons. For Aries, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your eighth house, and this is the natural house of Scorpio. So eighth house has to do with transformations. It has to do with uncovering things that are hidden. It has to do with um, anything that is regenerative or sort of transforms you through a death and a rebirth. So with this new moon conjunct Jupiter in your eighth house, I really see something coming to the surface for you. Aries over the course of the next six months. It could be a wonderful time to do some deep psychological work like depth psychology. It could be a great time to uncover some hidden treasure or buried treasure as far as 
information or jewels or secrets or anything that uh, eighth house governs, things that are hidden. And it, it, this is a good time to bring things to the surface. It's also a great time to do a rebirth. Um, beginning it now, you may see some nice results between now and the next six months when we get that full moon in Scorpio. If you begin a vision now during this new moon in Scorpio of bringing things that are below the surface to the surface, you're going to see some nice results between now and the next six months, as well as the effects may last through the next year. Um, it may continue to develop and grow and get more insight from what you're exploring through November of 2018 because that's uh, Jupiter will be in your 8th house until then. So enjoy that, Aries. For Taurus, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your 7th house of partnerships. So it's a really great time to begin a new phase regarding your partnerships, whether that's a new phase of a partnership that you're already in or meeting someone new. Scorpio rules depth of feeling, and this is because it's in your house of partnerships, it's really like saying there's a new level of feeling coming into your partnerships. Now those could be, generally they're looked at as romantic partnerships, but it could also be business partnerships, uh, family, partnerships. Seventh house is really just the house of the other. And so what it's showing is that there's this seed that is getting planted very deeply in your seventh house. Um, and it, it may blossom if you nurture it over the next six months. And really, Taurus, for you over the course of the next year, because Jupiter, the planet that expands things, is going to be in your seventh house for the next year all the way through November of 2018. So it's a really good opportunity to begin something new in terms of your relationships and your partnerships. Plant that seed now, Taurus, whatever you'd like to intend to come in and watch that develop over the course of the next six months as well as the rest of the year. So enjoy that, Taurus. For Gemini, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your sixth house. This is the house that rules day-to-day -day schedules, um, things to do with our, our work or um, our health. So if any of you have been looking to develop a new health regimen, you have a lot of power and focus right now in Scorpio to help you with that. Jupiter is also conjunct the sun and the moon there in your sixth house. So it's like a it's like a, um, a coach or someone who is helping to push you. So if you're looking to do anything regarding your health, wonderful time to begin that now, Gemini. Um, and if you nurture it over the next six months, you may see some nice results by the full moon in Scorpio that we get six months from now, in May, I believe. Um, as well as throughout the, th these lasting effects could last throughout the whole next year because we have Jupiter there in Scorpio in your sixth house until November 2018. So anything, if you want to change anything in terms of your day-to-day -day routines, your schedules, uh, your lifestyle, what it is that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, um, as well as anything to do with your health, now is a good time to begin. If you're looking to change your diet or do a workout schedule, Really good time to begin this now, Gemini. You'll have a lot of support with that happening and growing. For Cancer, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your fifth house of true love, of romance, of creativity, and of children. So for you Cancers, you may be having a new love in your life blossoming or blooming. It's a wonderful time to plant that new seed of true love, of romance. You may have a new love partner show up in your life around this time. And you also have Jupiter there, conjunct the sun and the moon. So it, it brings with it a lot of blessings in this area. So you may ev either go into a new phase with um, your romantic partner. It's an opportunity for that. Or you may meet a new person um, who shows up as a true love partner or someone who is um, fits that fits that 
matches your heart in that way. Scorpio is about deep-seated emotions, and it's because it's a water sign, it also matches Cancerian energy very well because it's Cancer is also a water sign. So there's a deep emotional bond that is possible to be begun here at this new moon in Scorpio. So nurture that Cancer and, and allow that in. You'll see some nice results over the course of the next six months. For Leo, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your fourth house. This is the house of the home, of nurturing, of parenting, and of the house. So some of you may have something new coming in uh, regarding your home, whether that be an addition, whether it be a new person coming in. For some of you, it may translate into a new home that you're moving to or something new about your home, like if it's, it would be a great time to say begin renovations on your home or changing, changing things up, beginning something new um, that you are adding to your home or changing about your home. Um, some of you may be new, become new parents around this time because fourth house also rules parenting. It's a new, it's a time to look at, um, what it is in your home that you would like to begin, even if it means something as as simple as the way that you maintain your home or, or organize it or structure it, it's a new time to implement something within your home that will bring about results that you'd like to see over the course of the next six months. So it's a really good time to begin that, Leo, if you are looking to start something new regarding your home. You'll see some nice results through the next six months as well as potentially through the next year. These these could have lasting impacts through the whole year because Jupiter will be in Scorpio through November of 2018. So enjoy that, Leo. <clears throat> For Virgo, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your third house of communication. And with the sun and the moon and Jupiter all conjunct in Scorpio, this means communicating deep-seated feelings that are below the surface. Scorpio rules um, what is underneath, what is at a core deep level. And Scorpio is a water sign, so it has to do with emotions. So in the third house of communication, when we have a new moon and it's conjunct Jupiter, it, there's a lot of expansion available there in this area of communication. So you may begin to um, express and communicate your deep-seated feelings in a way that is new. You may find new words, new language, new, new communication, a new way of saying things. Um, and expressing your heart on a deep level. So it means things com coming from the deep surface up to the surface. And with Jupiter there, it's like giving you an extra push to find these new methods of communication and language and expression. For some of you, this may translate as studying nonviolent communication. For some of you, this may just mean expanding your vocabulary in terms of learning how to express your feelings. For some of you, this may mean learning to be more precise. You Virgos are usually pretty precise as it is, but with Jupiter in Scorpio and the new moon in Scorpio, it's an opportunity to begin something new that really brings these deep-seated feelings to the surface and in terms of expressing them and communicating them. So it's a wonderful time to begin that Virgo and you may see some nice developments if you nurture that over the course of the next six months. And even throughout the course of the, the rest of the year because Jupiter will be in your third house of communication, of expression, of language in Scorpio, the house of deep-seated feelings throughout um, the rest of the year until November of 2018. So begin that now, Virgo, and you may see some nice results. Um, for Libra, this new moon in Scorpio is happening in your second house of finance, of the body, of possessions, of assets, of things that you own. So if there's something that you would like to own, Libra, something that you would like to draw to you, whether that be something physical and tangible or whether it be just something that you value, 
Uh, it could be something more abstract, but something that is of value to you. This is a wonderful time to set intentions and bring that to you. So say if some of you wanted to get a new car, you could set the intention with this new moon in Scorpio in your second house. And over the course of the next six months, if you nurture that, you could see some nice results uh, by the full moon in Scorpio six months from now. Or... Um, even potentially over the effects could ha be lasting through the next year, through November of 2018. You've got this planet Jupiter that expands everything and is really rains down blessings um, in your second house. So think big, Libra. You could really draw in something big um, over the course of the next six months and potentially into the next year. If you plant that seed now, Libra, so set your intentions, whatever it is that you would like to draw to you, whatever it is that you would like to possess, own, have, something of value, and you can watch some effects of that develop over the next six months to the year. So that is the new moon in Scorpio for all of the signs. If you have any questions or any comments, please feel free to put those below. Or if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can always email me. I'll have my email below. Um, and I do hour-long readings, half an hour-long readings, or I've just started um, new th three-card readings. Um, please look for the video on that. I'm going to do a separate video on that. And um, as always, I just want to thank everyone so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of November, everyone. Yours in the stars.